qualification period certainly has been um, not as straightforward as I would have thought in 2019. Um, I was feeling really good after the 2019 season and ready to go for the Olympics even though I hadn't qualified yet then. Um, however, then COVID hit and then um, my father passed away, so that was a little bit more complicated. And now I've been selected for the Olympics and I feel like super relieved. I'm really excited, a bit nervous, um, but I'm really, really happy that I'm going to have the opportunity to use everything I learned in Rio and bring it into Tokyo. I think this Olympics will be a lot different than Rio, just being the second time. Um, just going into the first one, I think it was a bit more nervous. We were at the end of the Olympics and I was like solely focused on the race. And then once the race was over, I was a bit disappointed. Um, then it was just done. The Olympics was over. So going into Tokyo, I'm really excited to take in more of the experience and also really focus on my strengths and what has gotten me selected for the Olympics rather than I think in in Tokyo or in uh, sorry in Rio I think I got a little more nervous and kind of forgot how how capable I was Honestly, I never thought I'd be good enough to make the Olympics, so um, my dreams, I enjoyed watching the Olympics, but I never thought I would actually become an Olympian, and it wasn't until I became a triathlete and I started learning the sport more and getting better and climbing the rankings that I really started to believe that I could be an Olympian, and then I really started to believe that I could be a podium contender for the Olympics. I'm really excited for going into my second Olympics because I think having done one, it benefits me in the sense that I just know what to expect more and have so much experience under my belt. But that being said, I definitely don't discount all the young, the young guns who will be racing and are super excited and really, um, really ready to perform at the Olympics. So I guess it goes both ways. <laughs> um, I think whether it's your first time or your second time, it's, it, it doesn't matter, you can have a really good race. But for me, it's definitely helpful to have done that first one and come into Tokyo having done Rio and having everything that I learned since then be a part of it. For me, it for sure helps to have raced the Tokyo Test Event and just having that, um, being able to know what the course is like, knowing, um, having the preparation of being in that area and also uh, I just get a lot of confidence out of preparation. So for me, every time I see a course and the more I know, the better I do and the more prepared and the more calm and the more confident I feel going into the race. So definitely having done the Tokyo Test Event, having done Yokohama this year with under the COVID restrictions and COVID regulations, I think that's all really beneficial because it's kind of a different Olympics in that sense. And just having done that, I think helped me prepare me. So we actually have gotten to doubly prepare, I suppose, for Tokyo and the heat conditions and everything like that because before 2019 going in the Tokyo test event, we were at altitude and doing a heat camp. So we got to try out things there, figured out what worked, what didn't work. And now this year we've come into it, we're at an altitude camp and we'll be going to down to Bagnole, Spain for the heat camp portion. And I think having learned what we did in 2019, we'll be ready for Tokyo. Oh gosh, Martin Van Riel. <laughs> um, I think I think it's always really hard to determine what's going to happen in the Olympics. I mean, it it is another race that we're preparing for, another big race, and we've done big races before. But again, at the Olympics, unexpected things happen. So I really don't know who I'm zoning in on for like amazing races. I guess Nicola Spierig is a hard person not to not to think will be at her best game for the Olympics considering she's a couple time medalist now and um, but also like Maya Kingma she's been doing super well in the World Series, Jess Learmont, uh, Flora Duffy. I mean it's a, it's a lot of things that you can expect to have um, really good results and these everybody's been preparing for this race so I would like to say me and like Summer Cook, the other Americans, Taylor Nib. Like, I, I just think it's such a strong field. You really don't know who's going to be on the podium. And as for the mixed team relay, uh, USA, no. Um, <laughs> but I think the French definitely have a really strong team. The Belgians are 
they have a very strong team as well. Um, it's going to be one of those where you really can't have a weak player. And I think for you at Team USA especially, they, the year extra really helped us along with actually a couple other teams because I'm thinking of the Belgians as well that the year extra probably helped them as well. So. Um, yeah, I think just having your team that's going to be healthy on the start line is going to, and ready to go, that's going to be the main, main determining factor for that.